Thank you very much, Mr. Campbell. At this moment, we'll be taking a two minutes break and we will be coming back with four other topics. Captain Morgan's Retreat and Captain's Casino, located north of San Pedro Town and is serenaded by the bounties of the Caribbean Sea. Every Tuesday is Culture Night with live music from Barry and the Islanders. On the beach, the best of Belizean crafts specially designed with you in mind. Enjoy a delicious meal around the pool. Mix and match your plate from our buffet table prepared by the captain's private chef. Fun-filled games and entertainment for the entire family. So make your reservations today. Then, for the gambler at heart, it's on to the Captain's Casino. With over 40 slot machines, blackjack and poker tables with free drinks while gambling, the Captain's Casino is sure to be a delight. So come on up to Captain Morgan's Retreat and Captain's Casino. Complimentary pickup available at the Fido's Dock. Captain Morgan's Retreat and the Captain's Casino. Castillo's Do It Best Hardware on Pescado Drive, we give you the best value for all our construction needs in San Pedro. From electrical to paint, to plumbing, to household appliances, we offer a wide array of modern and stylish designs for your home or office. Thinking of changing your look this year? Visit Castillo's Hardware. Our new computerized paint matching system is able to mix paint to match any color offering you unequal convenience. Just use any of our high quality do it best indoor or outdoor paints and our trained paint specialist will scan the color and mix the paint on the spot bringing your color to life. Details matter and we do it best at Castillo's Hardware. Una dama muy elegante se transforma en un ejemplo de belleza perfecta únicamente en The Beauty Club. Contamos con la capacidad, la experiencia, el profesionalismo y la amabilidad del servicio que te da la garantía de una satisfacción total. Te ofrecemos manicures, pedicures, colores, tintes, rayitos, tratamientos faciales, uñas acrílicas y mucho más. Visítanos en la calle Pescador en Radio Arrecife o también hace tu cita llamando al número 605-8613. Estamos abiertos de lunes a sábado de 10 de la mañana a 6 de la tarde. The Beauty Club. Transformación, elegancia y belleza. One, one, yep. Okay, I, I will invite you once more to take your seats. I'm inviting all four um, candidates to please join us once more as uh, we move on with four more topics. I will invite Tamara to issue the question on tourism. Uh, the next question will be on uh, tourism, and we will issue those questions to the candidates. At this moment, it will be uh, Ms. Patty Arceo who will be the first to respond. Ambergris Key is a top tourism destination in Belize. What do you consider our best asset? How will you work with the Belize Tourism Board in keeping Ambergris Key at the forefront of tourism? I'll repeat the question. Ambergris Key is a top tourism destination in Belize. What do you consider our best asset? How will you work with the Belize Tourism Board in keeping Ambergris Key at the forefront of tourism? Ms. Patti Arceo. Thank you. Our best asset, besides us, the people of Belize and San Pedro, is definitely the barrier reef. 
The Barrier Reef has been there for generations, for centuries. They have seen our islands move from a Chiclero village to a coconut plantation, to a fishing village, and now today to a tourism destination, premier destination in Central America and also the Caribbean. We need to protect, first of all, the Belize Barrier Reef. We need to make sure that we market going through the Belize Tourist Board, the Belize Barrier Reef as it is, not as Mesoamerica, because that's not the name of our Barrier Reef. So the thing is, in working with the Belize Tourist Board, the first thing that we need to do is look at the website. When it says destinations, and you could please go right there and see it. It says Corozal, Orange Rock, Belize City, Placencia. Then it has other destinations. When you click on other destination, there's about a small paragraph of less than five sentences describing Ambergris Key. And the same goes for Kikakar. So we need to update our website, first of all, because that is the window to the world in promoting Ambergris Key and Kikakar. We need to bring back San Pedro and Kikakar to the forefront of the tourism destination here in our country. Look at Placencia. Look how much money has been invested in Placencia. And that is our money from the Belize Tourist Board. We need to bring back a proportional tax return and ensure that Amber Grisky along with Key Cocker are the premier destinations here in Belize. Of course, we love the rest of the country, but we live here and we need to promote Amber Grisky and Key Cocker. Thank you, um, Ms. Patti. Ms. Iridia. Well, I believe that the biggest asset of our country is its people. The people are so friendly, so kind to tourists like that. The Barrier Reef is extremely important, but our biggest asset is our people. Those are the ones that really make the, our tourists feel at home, and I believe that is why people want to come over here. And definitely, I am part of that today. I have worked, I think I have been the minister that have worked closer with the Belize Tourism Board than any other minister before. I have been the one that have worked, you can ask the, the Florida Cruise Association who has been the minister that have met with them more times and closer to them than any other time before. Today we can proudly say that the numbers of arrival, overnight, overnight arrivals have exceeded the 250,000 it is only the second time in the history of Belize that this has happened. And it has happened because we have taken an aggressive marketing strategy. The website, our website is just being launched right now. A new website, and I think if they had the opportunity to go and see it today, they would have seen what we have done during this administration with the BTB. We have done many, many aggressive things, and even with the recession that has hit us, our numbers have been lower before, but it's steadily climbing. And we will continue to do aggressive marketing in different forms. Aquellas personas de habla hispana, quiero decirles de que lo más bello y el, el de este país es su gente, una gente amable, gente respetuosa, gente que le da cariño al turista. La Recife es muy importante y muy bueno. Y también tenemos que saber de que si nuestra gente no fuera de esta forma, esos turistas no iban a venir. Con el BTB he trabajado más cerca que nunca con la gente que está allá. Les doy su respeto. No me considero un ministro de aquellos oh, de poder. Ok, thank you, thank you, um, Mr. Iridia. We'll give the opportunity to Mr. Mike Campbell. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, most definitely, the people of Belize is one of our major, major resources. But the people that here are in San Pedro mostly have come here because of how San Pedro is. And uh, this is our environment. Uh, my son is away in uh, college right now in the United States. And uh, I have relayed to him some of the environmental battles that we're having here in San Pedro. And he says to me, he says, Dad, 
Don't they realize in Belize the environment is all we have? And, and that's actually the truth. We don't have many natu natu natural resources. The environment is our major natural resource here. And this is more than uh, the barrier reef, although it's certainly part of it. It's all of the, the shallow lands, the mangrove, the entire ecology of this island. People come here to fish and to dive and uh, all of these things. Because there's work, people have come here from all over the country and have made this into the melting pot of the country. And, uh, and this is the, the people part of it that everyone loves so much, and, and me as well. But none of us would be here except for this incredibly unique environment that we have here. And we have a tremendous obligation to protect it because that is what gives us our income. And if we let something happen to this environment, it doesn't matter how nice we are or anything. They're not going to come here just to be us to be nice to them, right? We have to have our fishing. We have to have all of our <clears throat> proper conservation so that we're not chopping out the mangrove. And particularly, we have to protect the habitats, right? And to make sure that our environmental laws, is, particularly in developments, are adhered to, and this is a real problem now. The environment is San Pedro. We lose the environment, we've lost San Pedro. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. Mr. Bobby Lopez. Hi. Um, I want to agree with uh, Manuel and, 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 um, and Mike, but in any service industry, without people, you have no industry. And so it is important that we uh, train our, our people well, so that they know how to treat our tourists. But it is also more important that the hardworking people that make this industry prosper and succeed need to be treated with respect and dignity. And that's where I see us falling way short. The hardworking folks that live in the back half of the island are not being given the due respect, dignity, and appreciation for the hard work that they put in to make this industry prosper. And so one of the things that I definitely will be looking at is to see how we can raise the standard and quality of life of those persons who have come here to make this industry thrive. One of the, one of the things that I practice is that you cannot get what you want if you're not giving the people that are around you what they want. And when you give others what they are looking for in life, they will help you to achieve what you want. In my business, I have practiced giving my, my workers decent housing at interest-free loans because the Bible tells us you lend without usury. And I have built almost 20 homes for my workers, and that's why my very first worker 25 years ago still works for me. Hilberto can tell you that the first time I hired him 12 years ago, I said, Hilberto, where are you living? In a room. I said, no, you'll no longer live in a room. You're going to have a nice, decent apartment because when you're finished working, I want you to go home to a nice place that you can raise a family, which he's now doing, and that you can enjoy a decent quality of life. And so we need to take care of the people who make this island prosper. Our people are our greatest asset. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. Rebotals. So we begin with Ms. Patty Arceo. Revive our tourism industry. That's what we need. In reviving our industry, we will be creating jobs, creating jobs by bringing the infrastructure that the island needs. The infrastructure will include from San Mateo to San Pedrito, Escalante, DFC area, because we need to make San Pedro beautiful, not only at the front, but also on the west side of the island. The same thing will happen to Key Cocker. Make sure that we bring the proportional return from the Belize Tourist Board from the nightly stays of our tourists here back to the islands. This is what we need to revive our tourism industry. Vamos a revivir la industria turística. Vamos a traer el dinero que se da en el interior, parte de ello para reconstruir áreas de nuestra isla, empezando con San Mateo. Vamos a trabajar también en San Pedrito. Vamos a ayudar en la infraestructura. 
esto es lo que nosotros tenemos que hacer porque antes que nos vamos a vender a nuestros puestos allá afuera hay que hacer una limpieza de casa y así vamos a comenzar para revivir la industria turística Thank you, um, Ms. Patti, Mr. Iridia Well, I can say that the staff at BP, BTB can tell you that there has been no other minister that has treated them with more respect than this minister they like me so much that every now and then they, they, they want to have a meeting with me to discuss issues over there. And what this minister has done also is to make sure that the stakeholders are the ones that decide, not the minister. The minister is the one to implement their policies and so that they want. In the past, it was the minister that was the heavy-handed and saying, this is what I want, this is the way it will be done. With this one, it's the stakeholders that decide what they want. If anything fails, then they cannot blame the minister. If it is good, then both of us get the credit. And the, because we are so interested in that, we have the Sakachispas talking about the beach and, and the back. That is why we want to beautify the back over there, so that we can have both areas looking beautiful. San Mateo, under this administration, we have a street that goes from one side to the other. We have uh, many others that are being built. Water was taken over there by this administration and the electricity. I remember when they brought the... Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you, Mr. Iridia. Um, Mr. Campbell. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, consider concerning how to jumpstart our tourism and what has happened, I believe that this was a strategic uh, mistake on the part of the tourism board by lumping us all together in Belize as a brand. We here in San Pedro and Keacock are, in, are incredibly unique. I believe that we should be promoted at all costs as our own destination. In all of these trade shows, we must have a booth that is only San Pedro and Key Cocker, has films of the island and underwater films and the golf carts and the bars, and it will be manned by people from Key Cocker and San Pedro. This combined with picking up the town because the town is extremely filthy, we've got dog crap everywhere, broken glass and blowing trash. And these aren't compatible with a first-rate tourist destination. And uh, these are some of the things we have to do. But we must put San Pedro first and separate ourselves from the rest of the country in that regard so that we can get what we need. And then we can continue to send money back to all the villages and towns all over the country. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. Uh, Mr. Bobby Lopez. Nuestros recursos humanos es para mí lo más importante. Los que trabajan tan duro y que viven en cuartos con sus hijos es una injusticia. Es tiempo de tratar a nuestra gente que trabajan para la prosperidad de esta industria con respeto y dignidad. Bajo mi liderazgo yo les aseguro que yo les voy a tratar como yo trato a mi familia, con amor. Gracias. Thank you, Mr. Bobby uh, Lopez. We'll invite Mary to join us and Tamara to issue the question. We move on uh, on our next topic, corruption. And uh, Mr. Iridia will be the first one to respond on our fifth question. From local government on up, there have been countless accounts of corruption. Do you believe that you are the one to turn this reputation of corruption around? Will you expose and prosecute the ones who are guilty? And how do you plan on doing so? I will repeat. From local government on up, there have been countless accounts of corruption. Do you believe that you are the one to turn this reputation of corruption around? <laughs> will you expose and prosecute the ones who are guilty? And how do you plan on doing so? Well, first of all, let me say that I have always worked very, very closely with the town council, and I have respected the town council for what they are. I believe that as the representative, and in particular now that I am a minister, it is my job, as I said before, to secure whatever I can, pass it over to the town council, and then they execute it. I believe that this one with corruption, it is more a perception than truth. It is not easy in any town council 
to be stealing or to be doing things that are improper. Everybody that knows me, that knows Manuel Heredia from way back, knows that I have never, ever been involved in anything that is corrupted, in anything that will bring personal gain to me. Anything that is done comes directly to the community or will go to what it was destined for. I have always thought of people with, with, with respect. Tienes que respetar a la gente que está en poder. Corrupción es algo que no fácil sucede en un municipio porque lo chequean por local government cada de vez en cuando se chequea y no es fácil eso. Es más la mentalidad de que estas cosas están sucediendo. Cuando entran allá van a ver lo que está sucediendo. Yo siempre le he dado al municipio su respeto y si hay algo para hacer es el municipio que lo va a hacer. Yo consigo los fondos y el municipio lo hace. El proyecto que se va a hacer allá atrás de Zacachispa es el municipio que va a estar encargado. No es el ministro que va a estar encargado de él, sino el municipio. Porque creo que son las autoridades locales y las autoridades locales son los que deben de hacer las funciones acá. Lo mismo como hacemos en Cayo Jicaco. Mis respetos al chairman y... Ok, thank you, um, Mr. Heredia. Mr. Campbell. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, on this corruption issue, first, what is corruption? Yes, bribery is certainly a form of corruption, and we all recognize that, but that's not the only things that are corruption. We have nepotism, which is giving jobs to your relatives. This is a form of corruption. We have cronyism, which is where you give jobs to your friends, and we have patronage where you go around passing out favors to everyone. All three of these are forms of corruption that are just as vicious to our society as bribery are. These are the things that, that rob us of our uh, free choice here, not our free choice, but equal chance to, to get along because certain people get all of the favors and all of this sort of thing. Uh, when I was on the board of directors in the free zone, we had an issue with trying to expand the zone. And uh, there were attempts at bribery involved, and in all cases, I personally supported the zone members and uh, fought that uh, the expansion of the zone tooth and toenail until they changed the law. Uh, as far as prosecuting people who have legally violated the law and any of our corruption laws, I think that this is very important that we do. Here in San Pedro, I would like to see us hire our own prosecuting attorney so that we can properly prosecute some of these